The Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has vowed to adopt the recommendations of an inquiry condemning her government's ministerial staff for bullying and belittling public servants. The Cole Drake report into the Queensland government's integrity crisis has demanded sweeping changes to the culture of the public sector. And joining us live is our Brisbane Bureau Chief, Adam Walters. For all the latest, Adam, the report says change has to start at the top. Yes, Pete, and Anastasia Palaszczuk has said that she's going to adopt the recommendations of Professor Peter Coldrake, lock, stock and barrel, to use her words. Professor Coldrake was scathing in his summary of her government's conduct, saying public servants were subjected to, quote, disrespectful belittling or bullying interactions with ministers and their staff. The report found senior professional staff and ministers need to set the example to be willing to address breaches and to support ongoing training and discussion of any issue. It went on to say evidence that breaches are being effectively dealt with is a necessary step to making this positive change. This process needs to be widely visible, Professor Coldrake said to public servants and senior leaders need to take responsibility for the process. Professor Carl Drake was appointed to investigate serious concerns by a variety of current and past senior public servants, including the former state archivist. Mike Summerall quit before claiming he was pressured to rewrite the Queensland Government's official record to suit the Palaszczuk administration's good news agenda. The state's integrity commissioner, Nicola Stepanov, had also complained that her independence was being undermined by the Public Service Commission after a laptop computer was taken from her office without her knowledge. Professor Coldrake's findings went straight to the heart of such concerns, Pete. He warned a fear-based response could become entrenched in the public service culture if bullying interactions and intemperate demands for action or for compliant advice became pervasive. He went on to say, in the case of a government, it reduces the range of views available in decision-making, excludes the opportunity to truly canvas the diverse views of the community being served, and can leave that government with a false sense of the quality of its own performance. The Queensland opposition leader says the report demands further investigation. This is what he said. It shows a culture where ministerial staffers are walking through bureaucracies like, uh, like they're in charge of the world, barking orders. It shows a culture of cover-ups where public servants feel so under pressure that they are forced to manipulate reports or not put things in writing to avoid RTI. Quite frankly, it shows that government in Queensland is broken and it actually strengthens our calls for a full-blown Royal Commission to get to the bottom of it. Pete, among the major recommendations, Professor Coldrake has called for a single independent body to triage, assess and direct complaints similar to the operation in action with the Brisbane City Council's single phone number and separate from the Crime and Corruption Commission. He said such a clearinghouse would allow members of the public and public servants to use a single door in reporting grievances and complaints about alleged corruption administrative decisions and other complaints, Pete. OK. Adam Walters, uh, comprehensive reporting as always. Thank you.